Hello, fellas. My name is Steven. And I'm Grandpa Robert. We are Yo Pop TV. So, guys, this is take two. You know, this is one of the reasons why we probably should learn how to edit a video. Because we're just having a nightmare of a day. You know, we were able to get the packs with no problem, even though it did sell out. But the problem is, is why we're filming this show and we were opening up the packs, which we opened up all the packs. We started to have in glitch problems. It's like a demon took over my phone. It wasn't uh, tuning time right. It wasn't counting down right. It wasn't doing anything right. The, the uh, uh, microphone wasn't picking up half of the sound words that were coming across. What a terrible, 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 terrible um day today's been oh so guys we're just going to go over the set we're not going to have any packs to open up for you we'll show you what we got which wasn't nothing to write home about but the thing is is that uh we don't have any other packs to open up i didn't buy extras on this one um because i'm saving up my money for the next set so guys please stick around get through us in the beginning stick around to the end we'll announce to you guys what the next set's going to be what's cool about it and there's something brand new that funko is doing that they've never done before with this new uh set that's coming out so uh be sure to like subscribe <laughs> hit the bell notification help us out we need help guys really after days like today you kind of go mm. so here we are funko warner brothers horror series two yeah. So a cool, really cool set. Uh, less cars than last year's set. Last year's set had, um, oh, I don't know how many number it was. It was like close to 500,000 cars, I think, or four or four something. Um, this set only had 394,000. So quick, we'll go over. So beginning off, let's see, we didn't even reset everything. So in this set, you had the standard packs and the premium packs. Standard packs was five card pack uh, for $9.99. The premium packs were uh, 17 card packs for $19.99. In this set, there was also a bunch of other stuff. Cards. <laughs> like I said, it's a bad episode, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, in this set, we got a Grail. Grail's 999 cards. Is the Ferryman from Annabelle. We have four legendaries in this set with 1,900 of each legendary being produced. We got the Accordion Merrick Monkey from Conjuring. We have the Black Shook from Annabelle. We have the Pazuzu uh, from The Exorcist. And we have a Goat Demon from The Nun. And then finally, Freddy. Freddy's back. That's right. Freddy made his way back. And he's uh, coming back as Father Karras from The Exorcist. So, guys, it's not as strong as it said as the first set. And a lot of the complaints I've been hearing about this set with a lot of people is, is that, oh, it's the same movies. Well, the problem is, is this is Warner Brothers. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff that, you know, you can't put into Warner Brothers that we didn't do. So they can only do Warner Brother horror movies and ones that they can get contracts for. And pretty much it seems like the only ones they can get contracts for are it's Exorcist. Well, it's just Exorcist, The Nun. Uh, what was it? Um my bed, the conjuring, the conjuring. Yeah, I was surprised there's no it in this. I mean, I know they put it in the last, they did a whole it set, but they could have kept it going on that one. I would rather, that's the one I would have rather seen a duplicate on than anything else. Um, so it was conjuring. Uh, I forgot what the last one was. What was the other movie? Annabelle. I don't think I said Annabelle. But uh, so they have to stay within those movie lines, uh, like I said, but it would be nicer if they would have added a Pennywise of some form because of the different movies that were done and so forth. So, as I said, we went through, we opened up packs. We didn't do well. Uh, we sat there and opened up uh, three premium packs it was about ninety six dollars in cost. And all we got was uh, was about forty five point two one percent of the set. No redeemables whatsoever. And on the epics, we have five epics. Now, as far as the epics goes, we did well, guys, because that's that's more than most of the time, it seems like. It seems like lately, the packs to epics has been much better. It's been rare that we've opened up a pack in the last three or four that didn't have an epic in it, which is the way I think it should be. I mean, if I'm putting that much money, I should at least get one epic, if nothing else. Well, the problem with this is, is all we got were five epics and nothing else. So it kind of kind of backfired on us. And then, like I say, we were having problems. It was the weirdest thing. The, the time on the camera was like going slow-mo, wasn't it? You know? It, was it like, would be like 42. Yeah. Nah, 43. Yeah, it's like it was oh, like no, it, was it was like running half speed or something like that. It was bizarre. And then our microphone, 
uh, we noticed that it wasn't quite working right either. And so when we went back to listen to it, it was almost like every other word that was stated is all that came through. And we Just, lost the other words. So it's um, kind of like how, like, glitch, how, like, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, so like you're lagging. I personally think it was the, uh, bad luck. The, no, it wasn't the goat demon. It was probably the exorcist, was Father Karras' fault. He brought the demon. He needs to, to exercise. I don't know if it's exercise because exercise is, you know, what an exorcist it's does. Exercise. It's, it's, it's exercise. An exercise. You know, needs to exercise our equipment and so forth. But nonetheless, so guys, in a couple weeks, okay, even though they announced it, we don't have all the information on it. I'm guessing Friday they'll probably announce the rest of it. We only know one new thing. But coming up in the new Funime uh, style that Funko is doing. They've announced that they've got this whole new Funime line. Uh, they're doing a Funko Presents Funime and Cosplay, okay, being done in an NFT form. Now, we know Funime, we have a 14-inch kind of looking Astro Boy looking uh, Freddy coming out. 1200 will be produced at a price of $250, which I personally think is ridiculous. That's just bad altogether. Why um, would I do that? Yeah, why would I spend 250 bucks for a 1200 produced item? When I can go through for 250 bucks, I could buy pieces that are four or 500 in regular pop size or NFT grails, you know? I can get a lot better. So I just don't understand why so high. But cool. here's what's making this set really cool. Not only will they have, okay, so I was talking about, and there's also My Hero Academia, let me finish up with that, uh, coming out, which he's not a fan of. But I've seen somewhere that there's a possibility of a couple other NFT anime sets coming this year. Uh, and one of them is possibly even One Piece. Now, whether it's true or not, I don't know. Somebody could have faked it and put it out there. We don't know. But it kind of makes it exciting. You're hoping that it does happen. But So here in this final May set, um, we don't know how many legendaries there's going to be. We have no idea what the royalty is going to be or the grail. Okay, But we do know it's going to have a standard five-card pack, a 17-card premium pack, and a brand new... Mythic pack, guys. A mythic pack, which is the only way you can get the mythic pop. Okay, so the mythic pop is this particular one right here. Okay, so we don't have a full picture of it, we only got the partial, but um, he's 10 inches tall. All right, and there will only be 499 of them. That's it. 499. So you know that's going to be an instant hit, guys. That's going to be an instant hit. So what it is, is you buy the pack. I believe the packs, from what we've been seeing, are probably going to be about $129.95. Okay? You will open it up. You will get one of these, a redemption for this particular per a character. Plus, you'll get 30 more digital cards, which you have a chance of getting the um, Grail, the, the royalties, the epics, uh, the legendaries, and the whole works. So it's like getting almost two premium packs. So that which makes this actually a pretty good deal. You know, four hundred ninety nine piece for if you figure almost two premium packs worth of cards. Let's say fifty dollars worth of cards because if you figure it out mathematically, fifty dollars worth of cards. It means you're only paying eighty nine ninety five for a four hundred ninety nine produced piece. That's pretty good. So we're kind of looking forward to this. So is it good? Is it bad? Well, like I was telling Stephen, it's bad if we don't score one. <laughs> it's good if we do. Because <laughs> we'd really love to open one on the show. So uh, May 14th uh, at 11 p.m. Uh, if anybody gets one and we don't let us open it up on our show, that'd be awesome. But So that's going to do it for us guys today. Sorry, yeah. such an off episode. It was just like I said, it's it's like Warner Brother horror took over our show. You know, the only thing that didn't happen was blood. Thank God. <laughs> so be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. We'd really appreciate it, guys. You guys have a great rest of the day, and we'll catch you on the next episode. Bye. Bye.